The Artec Leo is a self-contained 3D scanning device. What that means is all I need in order to go and capture something in 3D is this right here, the Artec Leo. I don't need a separate laptop during the capture process. I don't need a, a, anything else. I can just take this somewhere, capture my data, and then bring that data back to process later on a PC. So highly portable, very easy to use. What we're gonna do in this video is I'll give a general overview of the outer hardware features, as, and then we'll power it up, and then we'll look at the software features uh, using the touchscreen on the back. So first of all, uh, let's, look, let's look at the front here. So on the front, you have the um, projection and capture elements. So um, the scanner, while scanning, is projecting a grid pattern, which the scanner is able to read and translate back into 3D data. Um, it also illuminates the uh, surface of the object to help with color uh, tracking and color capture. Um, over on this side, as well as capturing the distortions and the geometry. So those are your capture elements on the front. Um, on the bottom, you just have various, um, you've got your serial number, which actually comes as, as a separate sticker. So you have to apply this um, to the base when you get your Leo, um, but get your various um, standard uh, readouts here on the bottom. Uh, on the side here, I actually have a battery door so the Artec Leo comes with a single battery um, and that is pre-installed. If I pop this off, I have this little bar here. This bar is what keeps the battery installed. So if I pop this bar up, the battery pops out and here is the battery. Um, each of the batteries has a little readout on the side so you can uh, check the battery level. Um, even if you, have, if you have a couple spares, you don't have to actually put it in the scanner to check the level. To install this, I'll just put it back in, pop it in and that bar pops down. And then I pop the door back on. All right, so let's move around to this side over here. Um, we have an ethernet port as well as the, um, the plug for your AC adapter. Um, this right here, when you plug this in with the AC adapter that's included with the Leo, will charge the battery. Um, that is currently installed in the Leo. The ethernet port is for a couple different things. Of course, it gives you network access. You can use it to uh, activate the scanner initially when you first turn it on. Um, you can use it to transfer data. You can use it to uh, stream to a web browser on a mobile device or on a, on a desktop computer. Um, so that's there. It also has built-in Wi-Fi, which also allows you to stream video over, uh, a video of the scanning process to a web browser on a mobile device so you can have a second screen uh, somewhere uh, to watch while you're scanning. So that's very, very handy. Um, turning this around, right underneath here, you have an SD, uh, micro SD card slot. So the scanner does have built-in storage, but you can, um, you can put in a micro SD card, uh, which you can then use to transfer data from the Leo to a PC for processing. So again, you could use the ethernet port for data transfer, or you could also use this SD card. Um, on the back side here, we have the power button as well as the touch screen. Uh, the touch screen is uh, what gives you uh, a readout as you are scanning. So that's your interface. Um, with the other Artec scanners up to this point, you needed say like a laptop or something and you would watch the screen on the laptop um, or, or on your desktop PC to see what's going on. In the case of the Leo, again, it's all self-contained. So you just look at what's on the back here as you're scanning. Um, and again, it's a touch screen so you can um, interact with the menus and, and initiate different uh, functions with that. Also, the screen does tilt outward. Um, this allows you uh, better visibility. Let's say you are scanning, pointing downward. Um, you're able to see that screen a little better than if it was just flat like that. So that gives you a little bit of flexibility. Um, one more thing here, um, right here on the inside of the grip, there's a little, uh, little button. Uh, when you press that button, it initiates your uh, scanning. So you can start and stop your scans with that button. All right, so let's go ahead and power this on and we'll zoom in on the screen here and check out the software features. 
All right, so we've powered up the Artec Leo. This is your main interface here. There's a couple things you can do from this location. At the bottom, you could press here to uh, start a new project, um, or you could just press the trigger to do the same thing. This will start a preview of whatever you're going to scan. I'm not gonna move this since we're focused in on the screen, but you've got a preview of what you're looking at here. You can turn your texture on or off. You can enable automatic base removal. You can adjust your cutoff plane as far as how far out the scanner can see. That's your far plane. Um, and then you can adjust your texture brightness as well. Right there. That's your color texture brightness. Um, from here, you can press here to scan or press the trigger button to initiate the scan. Again, I'm not gonna move this around, but it's capturing data right now. Uh, when you're done, press the trigger again or press stop on the screen. From here, you can look at your data. You can zoom in. I don't have a whole lot here because I didn't really move around at all. Um, so you can look to verify what you have there. I can press close. And from here, I could continue and add more scans. I could also choose the select option and select all or select anything I want to delete and I can delete it from there. Let me hit done. Um, you can always hit the power button to go back. Again, we're back at the main interface. Nothing's showing here because I deleted the data that we captured. At the top here, Let's look at a couple things. Uh, these are a couple different icons. Right here indicates that I am currently connected to a Wi-Fi network. If I was connected to Ethernet, it would have a different Ethernet icon there. I have my battery level. I have my storage level and showing that I have streaming and video streaming enabled, which we will um, de I'll demonstrate that in a bit as well. Um, you can press the settings icon here and there's a few other things here that you can uh, adjust or look at. So right here, you can change your scanner name if you wanted to. Um, you can look at what account that uh, this is activated on, some storage stuff, some legal things. So just a few different readouts. This is where your serial number is found as well as firmware update, all that sort of thing. You can shut down from here. Uh, region over there on the left, uh, you can set your time zone. Your network here, your network tab, allows you to connect to any of your wireless networks. I am currently connected to uh, Wi-Fi here and it shows my IP address, which is important for using the video streaming. Um, if I take my ethernet cable here and plug that in, you will see that it will automatically switch from Wi-Fi to ethernet. It is currently, yep, obtaining that. Now I am connected to ethernet and it shows my address right there. If I disconnect my ethernet cable, it will then automatically switch back to Wi-Fi and again show my IP address right, right there. All right, so that's all your network stuff. You can turn Wi-Fi on and off completely right there. You can disable video streaming as well. On the support tab on the left-hand side, uh, this is where you would go if you're having trouble with the scanner, if you're working directly with Artec to trouble something and troubleshoot some issues, you could turn on uh, support access there as well as send in a report. And then I can press the power button here to go back. I'm back on the main interface. If I press the power button from that interface, it gives me the option to shut down, which I am not going to do right now. And that's the features that you have access to on the touchscreen. One final feature that I'd like to demonstrate is the streaming of whatever you're seeing on the back of the Leo to a secondary screen. Um, this could be a desktop PC. It could be, or I mean, it could be a Mac. It could be a, a mobile device of some sort. Right here, I have the iPad Pro. All you have to do is navigate to the IP address of your Artec Leo. As long as both of these devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, you should be able to connect directly to it. Um, you will see a small graphic here that's kind of a placeholder, but as soon as I start scanning, it will start my preview on the Leo and then start mirroring that on the iPad. And then I can start scanning and it will show it on both the Leo and my second screen. So that's very handy if you want to use a larger screen during scanning or if you want other people to be able to watch what you're doing without all crowding around and following around looking behind the Leo. 
That's about it for the general overview of the Artec Leo features. If you would like more info, feel free to call or email us. We'd be happy to give you a more in-depth demonstration of this new fantastic scanner.